It is Tuesday in Newcastle, snow on the ground, sun in the sky. Richard Branson is here. Uh, everybody in the business is excited about Richard turning up for the day to see what we've done with the uh, Northern Rock offices since we acquired them 13 months ago. So Richard's coming to see uh, all of that. I've just had breakfast with him. Uh, he's in fine form and winding me up. I'm going to interview him later and put lots of staff questions to him. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be a busy and exciting day. So, how long have you been here? 25 years. <laughs> So what Virgin Money is doing is it's working with young people in a not-for-profit way which is really helping them um, start up new businesses, giving young people two and a half to five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds at a really good rate of interest which will help them start businesses that just would never have been started and in the North East in particular which is one of the hardest places in the country to start a business so the fact that we've done it in our heartland is really important. Well we just uh, met Richard Branson um, and spoke to him while he was on the podium explaining our business which is of course very exciting and is an inspiration as, uh, as, as, a, as a businessman and the way that he creates his businesses and his ethos is uh, really important to our company and inspiring. It feels different, it behaves different and crucially it's got values and the values are not just making a quick buck out of people, it's making everybody better off and one of the things that makes you better off called virgin money giving which is generating tens of millions of pounds every year of money to help charity. And it's a not-for-profit exercise. No other bank would ever do that. And it's brilliant. Virgin Money is different to other banks because we have a corporate ambition to make everyone better off. And that means that what we try and do is make some money for our shareholders but look after our staff and our customers and our community as well too and I think it's that balance that makes us uh, a different bank and a more trusted bank. It's just a magical atmosphere, I mean it's funny to think that only a year ago this was Northern Rock um, and um, it just feels virginized and red and happy and vibrant. I think the Virgin brand recognised for going the extra mile and actually caring about the community, caring about the people. I mean, personally, I feel proud of working for Virgin Money and I think a lot of people in a lot of other banks, since the financial crisis, don't probably feel that. So we've uh, just left the uh, Virgin Money head office, um, which was delightful, and we're now going to the Virgin Money store. Um, what most people would know is um, a bank. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll see that it's a little different from most banks. The people of Newcastle have welcomed us with open arms. Um, we've had hugely successful business results. Over a million customers have joined us on that 12 month journey and we're really starting to make our mark. We're now the most um, appealing challenger bank to the UK public. So our journey's only just started. People over the last few years worldwide have lost uh, faith in the banking sector. And I think you know, there are banks like Virgin Money who are trying to change all that and make a real difference. And hopefully if you've got a little taste of um, what's happening at Virgin Money today. It's been a fun day for me as well, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Cheers. <laughs>